What it is, what it do! J.A. Kyun here, back with another episode of Doki Doki Relapse. Um, like I said last time, there are a lot of interesting developments going on here. Um, we have Monica, Yuri, we may or may not be in love with Sayori. I think things are starting to... We might be reaching a climax of this mod sometime soon. Um, I'm not really sure. The only way we can find out is just to keep on going. So if you guys are interested in seeing where this mod is going to take us, if you haven't if you haven't already played this for yourself, be sure to hit the like button and stick around because here we go. I stretch my arm I stretch my arms as I sit up as I sit up in bed. I wonder how many people dream about destroying their alarm clock. Too many of them. Especially if you have to wake up to go to a job you don't like. Or go to school and you hate school. I climb out of bed and pick up a clean uniform from my closet. On my way out of my bedroom, I glance at my alarm clock one more time. I'm a Durasu! Nothing happens. Damn. It really was just a dream. Even though I don't process the... Oh. Oh, even though I don't possess the Sharingan, I'm still in a good mood. I thought it said chagrin. I was like, that's a weird way to spell chagrin. I was like, oh, Sharingan. <laughs> Acting up Yuri with her cutting. Malak is happy to hang out with me. And Pruvinoski's mood is still a talent of mine. And then, of course, there's Sayori. Now that her depression's on the table, I finally feel... I finally feel like... Like I can... Ugh. My vision begins to blur as I feel sharp pains in my head. What? Oh, what's hap- I try to grab the sink because I'm going to lose my balance. And we just pass out. Ow! Shit! I feel a stinging above my left eyebrow as I pick myself up off the floor. This is followed by something warm running down my face as I straighten up. Judged by a small puddle of blood beneath me, it's safe to assume that I busted my head open. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. The dumb joke does little to ease my pain as it does manage to bring a smile to my face. Oh, uh, Chris. Chris from, uh, freaking, uh, Purple Troubles. <laughs> Maybe my stupidity really is on is the only thing keeping me sane. Ow. I tried tapping at the wound on my head with my index finger to see how big it is, but it just causes it to sting more. Heh. <laughs> Guess I should use the mirror instead. I use the sink as support as I slowly stand up. It appears that I cut open the skin just above my eyebrow. Luckily, it doesn't look like the cut is super deep. Unluckily, it doesn't stop me. It doesn't stop it from continuing to bleed. I turn on the faucet and splash some water on my face to get the to get the blood off. I then grab a few tissues and press them against um, up against the cut to stop the bleeding. Once I have pressure against the wound, I begin going through the cabinets to find the rubbing alcohol. This, this is gonna be a bitch. I pour some rubbing alcohol in a rag and take a deep breath. Ah, shit! I didn't know better. I would think it just squeezed salty lemon juice into my blood. Once the burning has subsided some, I grab fresh tissues and press against my brow. My head becomes clearer once the pain starts to dwindle. Why the hell did I pass out? I didn't forget to eat dinner and I slept like a baby last night. I wasn't even stressed out this morning. In fact, it was quite the opposite. <sighs> I sure have been getting hurt a lot lately. Maybe Cyrus' clumsiness has rubbed off on me too. I know for certain that this... That this wasn't caused by clumsiness, but I play it down anyway. Oh, speaking of Sayori, I stuff to get ready for breakfast. I wonder how long I was passed out. Huh? The knocking sound is the knocking sound. Definitely came from downstairs. Damn, is that her? I peel away the tissues from my face and toss them in the trash can. Maybe she won't notice. No, she'll definitely notice. I tell myself this as I make my way out of the bathroom. I'm coming! 
Just don't draw any attention to it. Sorry, I could be oblivious. It'll be fine. Click. Hi, can Ah! <laughs> what happened to your face? Well, that could have gone better. Uh, oh, this? It's nothing. I just tripped this morning. <laughs> Killin, that looks bad. Are you sure you're okay? I have the urge to poke her forehead for worrying, but I don't think it'll help in this instance. I'm alright. I promise. I washed it off and put some rubbing alcohol on it. Are you sure? I could take a look at it if you want. Thanks, Sari. I appreciate the gesture. But I also remember you wanting to play doctor when we were kids, just so you could hit me in the, in the knee with stuff. <laughs> you... You wouldn't have to... You wouldn't have... You would have to remember that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm only joking. I promise I'll let you know if I need any help with it. Alright. And I promise I won't hit you in the knee with anything this time. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. But for now, I gotta get ready I gotta get ready for school. I bought more bacon yesterday for us to eat, so you can get started on it if you want. Mmm, bacon. Well, that certainly seemed to take her mind off things. Once I get done, I'll come down and whip and whip, whip, up, whip up some pancakes to go with it. You got time for that? You were passed out of the bathroom for a while. <laughs> you got time to make pancakes like that? Are you up for the task? Yes, sir. Sarah so proceeds to make her way to the kitchen as I head back upstairs. I quickly begin to strip down once I'm inside the bathroom. As I go to step into the shower, I almost step in a small puddle. I almost step in a small puddle of blood still on the floor. I grab some more tissue paper, and quickly wipe it up. I'm surprised it hasn't dried on the floor, and then just been a nightmare to get uh, clean up. <laughs> After taking the fastest shower in human history, I dry off and begin to put on my uniform. But did you just walk in, turn on the water, and then walk walk right back out? <laughs> I feel some slight paranoia at the fact that Sarah basically has free roam over my house for the last few minutes. As long as there's anything for her to find. She might notice the painkillers left on the counter, but given the situation, it probably seems reasonable. Once I'm dressed to impress, I leave the bathroom. I can already smell the bacon cooking as, I go, as I'm going down the stairs. When I enter the kitchen, I see Sarah in deep focus standing over her skillet. For some reason, it brings, back a, it brings to mind a scene from the old black and white sitcoms where her husband would kiss his wife as, she, as she's cooking a family breakfast. My face begins to heat up as I think about it. The Sari is your wife making breakfast. <laughs> She's like, Honey, breakfast is ready. And he's like, Ah, oh, thank you, Sayori. That was fast. Uh, oh, yeah. You know me. I'm just a very fast guy. I've always been told it's rude to keep a lady waiting. <laughs> I just now put the bacon in the skillet so you didn't miss too much. Sounds good. Now give me, uh, it'll give me time to make my world famous pancakes. Mmm, I can't wait. It doesn't occur to me until after I've said this that I've only ever made pancakes once. Accidentally. I wasn't moved for waffles that day anyway. I ignore the worries, I pull out the pancake mix, a spat the pancake mix, a spatula, and another skillet. Once I have everything in order, I scooch up next to Sayori and flick on another stove eye. Excuse me, miss, but is this spot taken? Well, there is this guy I was waiting for. I guess you can stand there until he shows up. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. I'll try to be a good company. <laughs> it won't take much. The guy I'm waiting for is a, is a pretty big meanie. Oh, is that so? Mm-hmm. He always makes me cook for him. And whenever I try to be nice, he pokes me in the head. Pokes you in the head. You mean like this? Poke! <laughs> He's like, oh, I see. You mean like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> well, I'm sure if you didn't worry so much about him, you wouldn't get poked. I've heard tales of people transforming to prunes. <laughs> he said something similar. But I can't help but worry so much, you know. I... I care about him a lot. Sayori... Well... 
He's lucky to have someone as caring as you. And I'm sure he doesn't want you wor worrying so much because he cares about your happiness. Killing. This moment is ruined by the smell of something burning. <laughs> They're having a sentimental ass moment over a stove, <laughs> over a roaring fire in the stove top as they're burning their breakfast. <laughs> Wait, <clears throat> I'm all for sentimentality and whatnot, but you have to focus on breakfast. Dang! I put my pancake over to see that one side of it is charred. Uh, this one will be mine. I, I guess this one will be mine, huh? <laughs> doesn't look so world famous to me. Well, as long as it's not on fire. I should say a knowing look. <laughs> not like anyone here is lit anything on fire or anything in the kitchen, right? Hmm. <laughs> Meanie. We continue to make playful banter as we cook. Once everything is said and done, we leave our four we are left with four pancakes and several pieces of bacon. I pull out two plates and sli and slide two pancakes onto one before handing it to Sayori. Once we both have stacked plates, we take a seat on the kitchen table. She reclaims her seat next to me and we both begin to eat. Out of the corner of my eye, I see a, I see her sneaky glance at me as we do as as we do. That doesn't even make any sense. Out of the corner of my eye, I see I can see her sneaky glances at me as we do. I guess he's talking about eating. Oh, we both we both take a seat at the table, and she sneaks a glance at me as we both sit at the table. I don't know, the fact that I have to stop and think about it makes me feel like this isn't a grammatically correct sentence. I can't think bad of it, however, because I find myself doing the same to her occasionally. Whew. That was pretty good eating. Oh, Slyori. Mm-hmm. You both managed to clear, out, to clear all of our food in our plates. Well, except for the charcoal pancake, that is. Those pancakes, those pancakes were really good, Killing. They really went well with the bacon, too. Thanks. I guess I just got lucky. But it was really your bacon that, once again, stole the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if there's any way to combine them. Bacon pancakes. We can call them bacon pancakes. <laughs> bacon pancakes, make your bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes, that's what I want to make. Bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. <laughs> we could call them bacon pancakes. I will drop to one knee and propose to Sayori the day she cooks bacon pancakes. <laughs> Jake, where you at, Jake? Where you at, Jake? <laughs> I'm sure the president and vice president can find a way to make it work. Though we would have to ask Sayori for, uh, we have to ask Natsuki for advice to prevent any unwanted fires. Only you can prevent kitchen fires. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Natsuki, I wonder if she'd be interested in joining our club. She doesn't live that far from here. That's a really good idea, actually. Now that my plan to systematically spend time with every girl separately, um, separately has fallen apart. Spending any time with her at all could be good. Especially if she doesn't have a choice to eat much- Especially if she doesn't have a chance to eat much at home. I feel my jaw clenching as I think about it. That bastard! I swear if it really does hurt or kill! Uh -oh. Um... That's why. Uh, oh! Uh, sorry. Uh, I- I was just making some executive deci decisions, is all. Which is how I've come to the conclusion that asking Nosuke to join us is a great idea. Yay! Here, I'll text her and ask her if, she, if she's left her house yet. Sarah proceeds to quick draw her phone out of her bag. Ah! My muscles tense up as I hear her scream. Oh, what's the matter? We're running late! Whew. I grin as my blood pressure returns to normal. I guess that's a sign we should get going, huh? Sarah immediately begins to frantically gather her things. While she's doing so, I pull out my phone and see that we're actually that we actually are running pretty late. First period started ten minutes ago. Damn, you really, you, you're running late is an understatement. You're not running late. You are late. <laughs> though I can't say, though I can't say I wouldn't rather spend time with her. Watch her clumsily fall over herself as she gets ready to go. It makes my face run hot. 
I calmly toss the plates into the sink as Sari bolts to the front door. Come on, Slowpoke. I'm coming. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't read that with... Damn, you fit. You ru you ruined this phrase for me, fit. I scoop up my bag as we run out, as we both head out. She practically drags me across the sidewalk to our trip to school. Anyone who was in the Discord with me that night, which was probably all four people, will know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> By this point, she has probably noticed the fact that I'm not in any that I'm not in any hurry. I prefer to just walk there with I prefer to just walk there with you, dummy. Killin, quit dragging your feet. You're gonna be late if you don't hurry up. <laughs> Aren't we already late? Well, yeah, but we're gonna be more late if you don't pick up the pace. More late, huh? And here I thought you're in a literature club. I smirk at her as she realized what she said. <laughs> Now's not the time for that. Now's the time for getting to school. Sarah grabs me by the elbow and once again picks and pulls me along with her. You can scold my verbality when we're back in the club. <laughs> Damn. It looks like she got me with that one. It looks like one of us should stick to focusing on breaks. Wah! I watch as Sarah slips on the sidewalk and begins to fall forward. It quickly occurs to me that she still has a firm grip on my arm. As we get falling with her, I manage to channel my, my inner action here and pull her towards me. Ow. My back hurts from the impact on the ground, my chest hurts from the impact with Sayori. Are you alright? Killin, how did you get here? Well, the concrete looked pretty soft, and I didn't want you hogging it all for yourself. I ignore the pans, I smile at her. <laughs> You're so silly. You both just lay on the sidewalk. I don't even notice the pain anymore. All I can feel is my heart racing. <laughs> and the people walking on the s people walking by the sidewalk are like, uh, the boy becomes a man. <laughs> yeah, come on guys, let's give these two some privacy. I... I... I want... Before I have time to think, Sari leads to the kiss to me- DAMN! <laughs> WOOOOO! <laughs> WOOOOO! That was t You know, I said last episode, is this where we kiss- It's like, are we gonna kiss Sari here? But no. In a totally unexpected sequence of the- uh, <laughs> Of our walk to school. We should trip- we save her from falling on the sidewalk. She's on top of us and she just leads and kisses us. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> Our boy becomes a man. Look at him go. He gets, he gets to kiss Yuri, and then he gets to kiss Sayori. But then wait, if my memory serves, he gets really weird about this, and he has to tell Sayori that he kissed Yuri first. If my memory serves. I'm pretty sure that's what ends up happening because this guy can't have anything normal happening for him, can he? Also, my phone just went off even though I'm pretty sure I muted it. <laughs> Alright then, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Every ounce of blood, bone, and marrow is screaming at me to kiss her. I want to, but, but I can't. Now when she doesn't know what happened between Yuri and me, but my question is, why is that important? I understand, okay, listen, Mr. Mr. Guilty Conscious and all that, even though this is fucking stupid, because he kissed Yuri, and then, and then Monica wanted to hang out with him, and he was like, oh, well, I'll, okay, okay, no, let's, let's walk this back slowly. He was on the Sayori at first, but then, and then, but then he kissed Yuri, but then he's like, oh, well, I can't be with Yuri because I feel bad about Sayori. And then, Monica wanted to get with him, he's like, oh, well, I can't be with Monica because I feel bad about Sayori. And then Sayori wants to be with him, he's like, oh, well, I can't reciprocate my love for Sayori because it'd be awkward because of something that happened that she doesn't know about. And I'm like, dude, what the heck are you doing? You're all over the place in this whole thing, man, it's just freaking annoying. It's outrageous. It would hurt her, but someone not kissing her. Exactly, not kissing is gonna hurt her, it's gonna hurt her too! 
because she's gonna be like, you don't want me. And I'm like, no, it's not that they don't want you. It's just, it's just complicated, even though it's not really complicated. You're making it more complicated than it needs to be. I feel like I'm being torn in two. Instead of leaning in to return a kiss, I just lay here with my eyes averted. Can, can win? S sorry, I, 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 I thought. Oh damn! I put... <laughs> now see, look at what she did, you freaking idiot! You hurt Sari's feelings. Sorry, God. Sorry about that. I'm just I'm getting a whole bunch of messages. I don't know the place. I'm all distraught right now because Killer doesn't know how to act right. Oh my God! And poor Sari's all sad now because she's like, I thought you loved me, and now I kiss you, and you don't like me back. And I'm like, man, listen. It, Listen, I'm being an idiot right now, okay? Don't mind me, Sayori. <laughs> Sayori quickly pulls herself off me and stands up. I also stand up off the ground. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I just, I, 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 I don't know. I, sorry, please. It's not you. I feel my voice beginning to break as I speak. You, you felt so warm, I... I just wanted to. He thinks back to the scream. And she just wanted to. Ah! <laughs> My blood freezes as I hear the scream again. This time, though, I could barely distinguish it from reality. It's like I actually heard it. Before thinking, I throw my arms around Sayori and hug her tightly. I I'm so sorry, Sayori. I messed up. I, I never wanted you to get hurt. I can feel the tears running down my face as I say this. K Killin, what, what, why are you crying? Well, what's going on? I... I... The familiar feeling of fatigue returns to me as I release her. C come on. I'll explain at my house. But, but what about school? We would have been late anyways. This... This is more important right now. Killing. I begin walking back towards my house. After a few steps, I begin hearing her fall behind me. Yeah, I mean, like... Sarah's not gonna go to school after this. Especially when you said... I just... I have to explain this to you. Sarah's not gonna leave. There's too much invested in this right now. She put us... Especially since she put herself out there for you. Once we're back inside, we stand in silence for a while. Sarah looks like she's trying to figure out what's going on. I feel worse than longer the silence lasts until I finally can't stand it. Here. We should sit down. I take a seat on the couch and motion for her to do the same. After she sat down, I begin. Listen, Sayori. I... I'm not really sure where to start, but you should know that I do have feelings for you. It's because of those feelings that I was scared to kiss you. So please, don't think it's because of anything you did. I think you're perfect just the way you are. I wouldn't change a single thing about you, you know? It's just... Well... Something happened the other day. And I felt like I couldn't be with you until you knew about it. What happened? Her voice barely squeaks out as she speaks. Um... Well, me and Yuri got to talking about a book that we both liked. I proceeded to tell her about how I invited Yuri to come over and how we watched a movie together. But when she went to leave, she, uh, she kissed me. So, you and Yuri... Sorry, please. It, it's not like that. It was just a heat in a moment thing. I didn't... If you like Yuri, that's fine. You don't have to try and make me feel better. Sorry. That's it. I'm done for. There's no way I could explain that I'm what I'm feeling to her when she's not... There's no way I could explain what I'm feeling to her. Not when she's like this. I... I... No! I can't give up. This may be my only chance. I can't lose her. Sorry. The reason I'm so concerned about, about how you feel is, be, is because I don't just care about you. Huh? I... 
I love you. Y you This time she isn't even able to get the full word out. That's why I was scared to kiss you. I wanted to, but I was afraid if I did, you would you would find out about Yuri. I don't know how. You know what she'd find out about Yuri's if you told her? It's not like Yuri's gonna jump up and say, Oh, I kissed him fast! That wasn't gonna happen. I... I didn't want you to get hurt. I could feel tears once again running down my face. <laughs> I guess I screwed that up too. No! Don't say that! Sarah lunges across the couch and wraps her arms around me. I'm sorry, I, did, I didn't know. She tries to speak between her sobbing. I, I I didn't mean to make you feel so bad. It, It's all my fault. Sorry! I grab her by the shoulder and look her dead in the eyes. Don't say that. None of this is your fault. I, I should have been honest. I should have told you how I felt. Or about what happened with Yuri. I spend so much time worrying about it when I could have just said something. So please, don't say it's your fault, because it's not. And I already told you that it crushes me to see you unhappy like this. Kellen. She once again comes toward me, but instead of hugging me, she lays her head against my chest and begins to cry. I wrap my arms around her and sit with my chin on her head. The numbness from yesterday also decides to make a cameo appearance within me. I want nothing more than to stand up, to scream, to tell her the whole truth, to do something. But instead, I just sit here with my arms wrapped around her. I couldn't tell the truth if I tried. There's no way she'd believe me. Hell, I wouldn't believe me. I close my eyes and lean back on the couch with her head still buried in my chest. As the next few minutes pass, her sobbing becomes more and more quiet. It's eventually total si totally silent in the room. I'm not sure how long it's been, but Sire's voice eventually breaks the silence. Killing. Her voice is hoarse, I can feel a cold spot on my chest from where she's been crying through my uniform. Yeah. <coughs> I open my eyes to feel something hit me in the stomach. Ow. You... You said I could beat you up whenever you were a jerk, you know? <laughs> I can't help but smile as I rub the... As I rub at the spot where she punched me. <laughs> I guess I did, didn't I? Mm-hmm. If all your punches hurt that much, then it's probably smart for me not to be a jerk anymore, huh? Mm-hmm. And even, and you even said you were tough. I, I am tough. I just, I just didn't expect you to be so strong as all. Please, I was even holding back with that one. The numbness I felt is slowly replaced with relief as I see her lighten up. Man, I better learn how to stop being a jerk before I find out what a full strength one feels like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all the weight left on my shoulders disappears as Sari giggles. You better. I don't think you could survive it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'll try and learn quickly. We sit together on the couch as silence for a few minutes. Alright, well, I think now is as good a place as any to wrap up this episode here. A lot happened uh, today in terms of emotional things. Very impactful, in my opinion. I really like the tone of which things are being set. Um. Uh, I think I was a little harder on MC than I needed to be. Because at first I was like, dude, you're making no sense at all. Why are you doing this to yourself? But, I say, but MC's the kind of guy, he's like, if I'm going to be in a relationship with you, I just want everything to be out in the open. And go from there. And with most people, I wouldn't do that because most people don't really deserve that kind of openness, at least up front. They have to earn that kind of thing. But I suppose with Sayori 1, Sayori's a very quality person. And two, they both have known each other for a very long time, right? So I guess if he's going to enter a serious relationship with Sayori, and they both know each other as long as they have, 
the very least he could do is be up with her. So you know what? I could understand that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section though about MC's actions and and what I just said for the past couple for the past like minute or so. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you, if you haven't already, and join the Discord link in the description. In any case, it's been real. It's been fun. It's your boy Jay Killen. Ciao for now.